I'm Maggie Grishow. And I'm Hunter Grimes. And this is NAC News. This week at North Andrew, we had a lot of great things happening. Let's go take a peek at my story about that. This week in North Andrew Cardinal News, we had some extremely great things happen. Going to our junior high track team, we had some people set extremely great records when our own Gage George set new 100 meter and 200 meter junior high track records. Congratulations to him and the whole junior high track team. On the high school track, we had an extremely high earning track meet when only 14 athletes brought home 37 medals. Our very own Aiden DeLong earned second in the high jump. Our girls 4x1 team was placed second also, and our 4x4 team also placed second, among other categories where we did great. Our track team seniors were also recognized for their great years with their school, and their families were recognized last night. Our superintendent, Jim Schultz, will be honored with a special retirement send-off at 4 o'clock. He had over 28 years in the field of teaching, and Mr. Schultz began teaching here in 1990 when he taught world history, PE, and health. He also coached football and boys basketball for eight years. He had a great run at this school, and from all of us at NAC News, goodbye, Mr. Schultz. This is Hunter Grimes at NAC News, signing off. News out of the UK, health concerns with Alfie Evans. Morgan has a story on that. Alfie Evans is a baby boy born in the UK with a degenerative brain condition. His health was thought to be fine from his birth in May 2016 until December 2016. Then he started experiencing seizures and was admitted to the hospital where he has stayed ever since. He has been on life support to assist with his breathing as he is in a semi-vegetative state. Doctors believe that withdrawing life support is in his best interest, but his parents believe a doctor in Rome at the Bambino Gesù Hospital would be able to perform a series of operations to assist in his breathing and to keep him alive. Michael Malonis, a representative of the hospital in which Alfie is at, has said the following. One of the problems of this case is Alfie's parents look at him, and barring the paraphernalia of breathing and feeding, he is a sweet, lovely, normal-looking boy who opens his eyes and will smile. Now Alfie's parents have embarked on a lengthy le legal battle that has lasted since December 19, 2017. It was ruled Monday, April 23, 2018, that the child's life support should be turned off, and since then, he has been breathing unassisted. It is unknown at this point what will happen, but his parents are still holding on to hope that permission will be granted for them to take their son to Italy to help prolong his life. Staying in the UK, a new royal baby has been born. Let's go see the story on that. The third royal baby has been born on April 24, 2018 at Mary Hospital in England inside the Lindo Wing. This is Prince William and Princess Kate's third child, a boy, and fifth in line for the throne. First in line after Queen Elizabeth is her son, Prince Charles, then William and Kate, then Prince George, the royal's first child, then Princess Charlotte, their daughter, then the new sedition, and Prince Harry. The birth of the new royal son makes history in England because Princess Charlotte, who is above the newest prince in the line, will not have to give up her spot to her newest little brother. This comes after a new law passed in England that allows for the line to not be affected by things such as gender. The name was announced on April 26th as Louis Arthur Charles. Other possible names for the baby were Alexander and Albert. This is Maggie Grishow in AC News signing off. Thanks for watching. I'm Maggie. I'm Hunter. And this is NAC News.